Welcome back to the Hot to Best Daily Pick Show for Thursday Night Football here in week five of the NFL season. Probably have, you know, the best Thursday night game to date this season on tap for tonight. So let's just jump right into it. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Tonight's game, taking a look, the Rams head up to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. Rams 3-1 and one on the year. Seahawks are 2-2. Two and two. For the Rams, obviously, go and ship Jared Goff out of town in the offseason, you know. Um, and I was never a huge fan of this trade from the Rams' perspective. I think in the long run, they're going to lose. And, you know, we saw Matt Stafford show his first struggle of the season against the Cardinals last week. And with all that said, yeah, I don't love Matt Stafford, but he's going to be a good quarterback. He's going to, you know, have moments for this Rams team, no doubt. And I do think he'll bounce back somewhat in this game. Um, you know, Sean McVay's just, you know, got to do a better job, find a way to to get more points on the board than they did last week. As far as the Seahawks go, though, you know, bounce back up to 500 with a win over the 49ers on Sunday. Russell Wilson has had an OK season, you know, 1,044 yards, nine touchdowns on the year isn't horrible. And the offensive line has looked pretty good, only allowing 11 sacks through the first four games but really you know the highlight for the Seahawks team has seemed to be DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett you know one of the more electric you know wide receiver duos in the league at the moment two guys who are absolutely playmakers who can, can do a lot can cause a lot of teams a lot of damage and Chris Carson rushing the ball helps this team out too with 232 yards however this offense for this Seahawks team just has to put more points on the board 25.75 points per game the wall isn't horrible and it'll win you some games in the NFL. It's not going to, you know, get you to that next level. It's not where, you know, the NFL is at at the moment. As far as the Rams offense goes, you know, Cooper Cup has really been the guy for Matt Stafford as far as receiving goes. 431 yards this season for him. Van Jefferson and Robert Woods, you know, um, falling in right behind, making up a pretty good wide receiver true. And obviously Tyler Higby, you know, at tight end has been a pretty good option there. So lots of talent for Stafford to throw to. And on the offensive line, you know, bringing back four guys from last year obviously brian allen coming in too this offensive line um you know has, has looked pretty good and they've been able to protect stafford relatively well um well they didn't necessarily look great against the cardinals you know the first three games of the season they did a pretty good job there and this is an offense that's been able to put up 28.8 points per game um and really for this rams team um well uh, i'm gonna say i mean i don't think their defense is what it once was it's not what you know the level it was with the seahawks aaron donald still remains one of the best defensive players in the league obviously james or uh, jalen ramsey at corner you know one of the best corners darius williams also back there with him really just the weakness for this team is that linebacker position where it was kind of you know <laughs> kind of teetering on there not there um through the first three games you know the cardinals obviously do some damage to them in that area um but for this rams team i do think we see him bounce back here as far as the seahawks go defensively bobby wagner has you know been a carrying point especially at the linebackers position for this team this season 54 tackles on the year for him and this defense has held teams 25 points per game but again they're only scoring 25.75 um so you know really right at 500 as far as scoring margin goes um and they just got to do a better job defending the rush you know they've allowed 152 yards per game um on the ground and the defense has only held teams to 5.95 yards per play um really got to get that down if you know they want to actually be competitive and win some games this season and as far as the seahawks team goes i just don't think they're that good i think they they, they show a lot of struggles this season um you know i i said in the the nfc west preview back in july um i think the seahawks could end up with a top five draft pick and while that might be you know a little bit biased cardinals fan prediction I don't think it's going to be super far from what ends up happening. I think the Seahawks are firmly the worst team in the division. And honestly, the Rams only being two point favorites, even on the road, even in Seattle, I think they bounce back on the short week here from a, a pretty bad loss to the Cardinals team. Um, and I think they, they have a statement win here against Seattle. So like the Rams minus two here in this game. That is it for today's show. If you want to see more college football and NFL action, head over to hottobest.com. Check out the computer model picks up there. Also, you got MLB playoffs starting, so definitely take a look at all that. If you're not already following me at Hot Debates, Chris on Twitter and Instagram, make sure you follow me there so you don't miss out on any future content, as well as at the Hot Debates main account on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok to stay up to date on everything happening over there. Also, if you're watching here on YouTube, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. And most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on for Thursday Night Football. And thanks for watching today's video. I will see you guys tomorrow.